the main difference between analogical way of made veneers and digital way of made veneers. Let's show you. The, the main difference is like this. Uh, here we have the analogical mode and we have the first difference and the best, uh, the most important difference is that we need a model to create. We need a model to create our final restorations. And also the other thing, the important thing is that the margin, the margin, the, the localization of the margin is decided by our technician. It's not decided by us. I think this is a wrong process. And well, we make the box up, everything works. And then in the analogical mode, then we have to make a copy of our initial workshop. As you can see here, our technician made a silicon index to try to copy the workshop that we decide to start. And here, look, this is an additive process. Here you can see that we are doing layering by layering and that's an additive process. This is the main difference that we can see here. If we start with digital mode, you can see that we don't have model at the beginning. We have an STL and then we design on top of this STL. And here we have the uh, what you what we mean uh, pre-operative final restorative position PFRP. We always start with a plan, with a real plan at the uh, at the beginning of our digital restorations. And this is this is uh, an immovable final plan, you know. And then that's the different way. We start without model, as you can see here. Then we wax digital wax on top of this digital model, this STL. And finally, we can do the final printing. Uh, I, I have to say that I encourage you that if you don't have a 3D printer and you want to start doing your mockups, you need a 3D printer to convert the virtual to real. Eh? Convert this uh, virtual 3D plan, this uh, PRFP, on a real model. And then we can start working like always with uh, the printed and with the silicon index. And finally, we can do the mockup as we do uh, with analogical or digital, as you can see here.